goes forward. Just about set. Ninth race, they sent on their way from the 1,000 metre marker and untidy beginning this one. First to go, Preach Bowers right there and Fat Chance with the white cap is going well. Wendy May on the right in the orange is there with Eddie Sweard. Shakes Bra, she's right there. The Queen has the white blinkers towards the stand side. Victoria's Love, the yellow sleeves and cap is there and Wind Speed with the red cap is also well placed. They'll follow it further back by Royal Security Power. Just off them is Fire the Rocket, and then behind that one is Highland Fling. As they get to the 400 meter marker, Shakes Brushy in the pink, just about the leader with Eddie Sweat. Wind speed is still right there. Fat chance on the stand side. Then Victoria's Love also trying to get into the race as the Queen, but Eddie Sweat comes into the lead from Fat Chance. And Eddie Sweat kicks away, and Burwood's taking off late. Burwood's coming from nowhere, taking off late. Come Coming at Eddie Sweat. Eddie Sweat just made it home. Bowed flew for second. Fat chance third. Close for fourth. Fire the rocket and Victoria's love. Well, wow, just look where Burwood takes off after an absence. Eddie Sweat was clear at this stage, a chance right for Ian Sturgeon, and Burwood is really closing in. It's just going to fail. Eddie Sweat's going to win it here. Uh, the son of Imperial Stride will last long enough, just gets to the post in time to win a half head or three parts of a head, and Eddie Sweat for Robin Bruss and Co. Frank Robertson is the winning conditioner. Second to number seven, Burwood. Number one, Fat Chance runs into third. The fourth placing will go to number three, Fire the Rocket, who just beats Victoria's Love. Further back came number 12, the Queen, Royal Security Power, Shakes Bra, She. Then came Highland Fling, the Red Blinkers of Dodge City, then Wendy May. Followed by wind speed. So Burwood is on the extreme left hand side. The black sleeves and the white cap. And at this stage Eddie Sweat has gone clear of the opposition from Fat Chance. And all of a sudden Burwood takes off on the left hand side. And is denied by that half head. That's the running of the ninth. There's still a tenth race to come. The race time. Uh, there's no time, time available. But that victory is for Eddie Sweat. The tenth and last still to come. Until then back to the studio. Well, Eddie Sweat uh, for trainer Frank Robinson and all the owners here. Some of them good mates of mine, Ravi Naidu, the Volsiums, uh, Wendy and Anthony. And of course, they, the young Volsiums are here to lead the horse in. I'm told that the, the Bullies are ill back home. But well done to everybody concerned. Ian Sturgeon has uh, uh, got the ride here and uh, pick up ride. Of course, uh, Ian, uh, you're doing a, a bit of traveling these days, shuttling between uh, Gauteng and KZN. And I've been keeping a close eye on you up in Joburg. Things going well there? Yeah, we're building these. You know, it's, uh, things take time. You know, we, uh, but we're getting better and better rides. Every meeting, we're getting better and better rides. Coming back to this horse, I know Frank has always rated him from day one. I remember chatting to him when he's, uh, this horse made his debuts. He, he looks like a quality horse. Yeah, he came back from a break and I rode him in a six furlong and I got collared late, you know, and he, uh, he might have just needed that run. And, you know, back to the five, he had a lot of natural gait speed, you know, he jumped in front. And, uh, you know, when I cut him loose at the 400, he gave me a, I thought, a good enough kick to hold off this uh, pack. And, you know, the one came out and challenged him, but when it came to him, he dug down and he gave me a bit extra. Yeah, when you watch this replay, you guys went quick. You, you must have known that. And MJ was quite far off them and he, he, was, he was running on smartly, but your horse, uh, you showed a lot of heart. Yeah, he did. I mean, he's a gutsy little horse. He's, uh, oh, he's not a little horse. He's quite a nice type of horse. Um, and well done to Frank and his team. You know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's doing well at the moment. And thank you to his owners. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. And to my sponsors, TMT. Oh, I've got quite a few now. I've got Flamingos Nest uh, sponsoring me, Sukraj Racing, or Kill Pest Control as well. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, and a man with the sponsorship. Well played, yeah, Frank. And uh, yeah, lovely looking horse. And uh, nice to see him win again. Yeah, look, he's a horse that, that shows a hell of a lot of home, and I, I rate him. Um, we just didn't know where to go distance-wise. No, Robin was quite keen to go further with him. He said he'll definitely stay because of the sire. But I know the mother was very quick. You know, she, mm -hmm. she ran second or won the nursery in Joburg. And he always shows a lot of speed. So, that, so the mistake was trying to go a bit further with him. But uh, you, you obviously can see today he's all about speed, this horse. And if we keep him to that, he'll get stronger and he'll get better. He's a decent type of horse. So, you know, I just want to say well done to all the guys. Gavin's down here. First time he's come down to see those. So nice for them all, you know. Well done, Frank. Thanks very much. Let's have a chat with Gavin and the, the young Volsums. 
But first, Gav, come through, come to, come through, guys. Let's have a chat, uh, Gavin. Uh, you know, I chatted to Robin, Bruss, and uh, Frank uh, when this all started off his career, and he said he'll, he'll take a bit of time, but he, he looks progressive. You're 100% right. Frank was spot on. He said the day this horse walked off the float, he saw there was something there. He yes. really is, and he's spoken well about it. And it's been a lot of hard work getting the horses a bit crazy at the track. It's like a little puppy at home, but yeah, he seems to lose it a bit. But yeah, we're thoroughly happy, and it was really a good ride and good training from Frank. At this stage of his career, he looks to be best over the sprint trip. Maybe as he gets stronger, you guys will try him over a bit further? I'm sure they would like, like to do that. He's just got this habit of pulling like hell. So if we can sort that out, it looks as though we could settle him a bit. Then maybe there's more to come over a bit longer, yeah. I can tell you in good company, most of these boys are from Peter Marisburg, my hometown. And of course, uh, Robin also has kept a share. So all the best to you guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Come through. Let's get the lights easy and come through. Let's have a chat. So you, you tell me, Windy and uh, Ants, they're, they're, they're a bit ill. Hey, you know, Uncle Wins had to go for operation. So yes. we just want to dedicate this one to him. My father on the coast also, his health hasn't been up to power of late. So on, also on their behalf, we would, we would like to thank uh, Old Man Brown for getting this one for us. Now, you guys were so bullish when I chatted to you earlier on. You said you got the 14 to 1, the 10 to 1. You were very confident today. Yeah, well, as Sean said, uh, over the Guinness trial, the 16 was a bit too far. So he shifted through his gears. So we were expecting a good run over the 1,000. So. Windy, Anthony, not sure, but you boys are here to hold the fort for, for, for the Volsoms? Yeah, we just, um, well, we made the trip down for a wedding. So as you see, we uh, well dressed, dressed for the occasion. So, so, so. so yeah, just now we just want to thank, uh, as uh, AJ said, just a special thank you to Mr. Brown. Uh, he selected the horse in Cape Town. So um, yeah, we just hope that we can go from strength to strength um, from here. And yeah, just a special thanks to the boys in Maddisburg as well. As you see, the price was claimed, so we know the suspects. Well, I hope you boys brought uh, got enough pockets there, because all I can say now is go and collect the cash. Well, you know, of course, this. Well done, well done to the boys, and of course, well done to my good mate Ravi Naid, who's also got a share in the horse, and uh, Eddie Sweat has come through to win and win well here. Uh, a gutsy race, uh, be getting the better of number seven, Burwood. Nine, seven, one, and three, your provisional result, race number nine. Coming up next, the lucky last, and that'll be race 10. Uh, do get involved, uh, that'll be in about 21 minutes' time.